Walking on two legs may appear to be unstable as the body is statically unbalanced at any moment of locomotion. Dynamic human locomotion is in fact inherently stable and resilient against modest perturbation. There exists a standard gait pattern that humans normally adopt when walking. However, humans may use peculiar gait when they have medical condition or have to walk in destabilizing environments. Most electric power humanoid robots also crouch walk. The crouch gait of humanoid is an intended side effect of pursuing controllability over normality. The goal of this work is understanding the correlation between gait and stability. It has previously been postulated that normal gait is more stable than abnormal or impaired gait. Many questions still remain regarding stability. We conducted two experiments, one with human subjects and the other with computer simulated controllers. 30 healthy adults participated in our experiment and walked along a straight line while bearing walking speed, stride length, and the level of crouch. We pushed the participant to apply modest lateral force and measure detouring from the straight line. The lateral detouring measures how well a subject recovers its balance against external perturbation. The participants wore tight suits and retroreflective markers appropriate for optical motion capture and adjustable strap to reinforce crouch walking. The motion capture system reconstructed three-dimensional marker positions and estimated skeletal animation from the markers. An identical experiment has been conducted with physically based biped controllers on a computer simulator. Our simulation model is a skeleton of rigid links connected by 14 joints. To actuate the simulated biped, we provided a reference motion to track. The controller is equipped with feedback rules to maintain its balance against external perturbation. The experimental results from human subjects and computer simulation are consistent qualitatively with each other. The human subject and the simulated biped recovered its balance quickly and detoured less when it walked in 30 degree crouch. The detouring distance is also related to walking speed, the magnitude of push force, and push timing. It detours less if it walks faster, the push is weaker, and the push happens later in the swing phase. 